Looking for cheap and reliable College 25 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to MMO EXP and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFB 25 video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to go through an insane glitch that you can utilize in the regular season to pretty much lock up and maximize recruit interest throughout the entirety of the process. And before we do get to the video, guys, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as always. Can we get 450 likes on this video? Each like goes a long way in supporting the channel, so I greatly appreciate it when you guys do it. Takes a second, helps us out a lot. If you're new, subscribe. The road's 30K. We're getting closer. I can feel it. Hopefully, maybe a month or so, month and a half, give or take, if we keep growing at this pace. Comment down below if you have any advice to add to this or any variations or other glitch method type videos. They do help a lot when you post them down below. It helps out the community, helps out the. It's like a public forum down there. So make sure you are posting those down below. And if you haven't subscribed, if you're new, and of course, check out Underdog if you haven't already. Use my code. Signing up is super simple, and you'll be ready for the CFB and NFL season when we start posting picks and we start going through it. And of course, check out Twitter. My link will be down below in the comment section and the description. Follow me over there. You can DM me directly for some advice, and you stay up to date with more up-to-date CFB news that can be posted on Twitter a little bit more easier than a video. All right, guys. So if you haven't seen this already, I did make a video going over how to do this in the transfer portal. Now we're going to be going over how to do it in the regular season. So it is a bit of a different type of strategy here. Now before we do get into it, there are a few things you. Do need to do to set up first and foremost you're going to want to do custom schedule if you can if you're in an online league you can ignore this and just go about it based on what i'm going to go through but you do want to go custom schedule and see how many home games you can give yourself at least in the early going as you can see here michigan starts with the first three and then those up to five right there so the six you can't adjust but if you can try to adjust in an offline league give yourself as many home games as possible it makes it a lot easier for early season recruits annoyingly enough what, what bothers me with visits is that you can only do them in home games for obvious reasons but a lot of recruits do end up finishing much quicker and recruit and commit way earlier than late in the season. So it is kind of annoying if you have a schedule that has a lot of late home games. So I would recommend balancing out the first half of the season if you have control over that. And then from that point on, you do want to go through and set up your recruiting board. So when you go through and set up your recruiting board, any way you like, add any prospects that you think you could fight for that you want, right? So let's filter out by five stars here and try to fight through and take it as we go. Throw on players that have interest in you, throw on five stars, whatever you want to do here. Interest obviously is always a bit easier, but we're going to just try for the purpose of this video. We can just add a bunch of random people. You can do whatever you like and add your board. The whole point of this is that you are going to maximize interest while doing this. Once you have your prospect board on there, just like you usually would, you want to go ahead and start adding actions. So now feel free to go ahead and scout for the purpose of this video. I'm not going to go through and waste too much time of your scouting. But you are going to want to scout because, of course, you don't want to just be getting red star gems while doing this. You do want to be probably getting at least regular and or green gem guys when recruiting these guys. So just make sure you go through and scout your players. And then for me, on the other hand, I'm going to start showing you. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and you want to get in the race. So make sure you're doing everything you can to stay in these races. Offer your early scholarships through week zero. Go through, offer scholarships. Once you've offered scholarships, it's your first wave of players. We can continue to go through ahead. So make sure you do offer scholarships week one. You want to make sure you do stay in the race very early. I, I think one of the biggest things you could do is start nice and early when recruiting. So make sure you do not just kind of skip through these weeks to get to the weeks where you can actually apply the method. Make sure you do your due diligence. And when advancing, make sure you are adding your actions and reallocating. I've noticed even with this method, as effective as it is, if you don't put your actions on and you fail to do your due diligence early on, you can end up in a situation where you get locked out before you even have the chance to apply the method. So make sure you do stay in the race to your best of your ability up until then. Like I said, advance the week, come on through, start tossing on, send the house, start making sure that you're getting in these races to the best of your ability and so on and so forth. Of course, whatever whatever franchise you have is going to play a big role or dynasty, I should say. If you are a low tier dynasty, you're not going to do as many people as I'm doing here. You may not want to allocate the same amount of points as I'm doing here to everyone. So take that as you will. Remember, a lot of this advice is always variable in the sense that if you are a low team, you want to be more careful. If you're a top school team, like a you know tier five, tier four stars, you can go ahead and be a little bit more loose with your recruiting action. So just keep that in mind. So you don't accidentally do this, but only end up bringing in a few guys. So make sure you are still balancing it. But the purpose of doing all these guys is so that you can see accurately how well this works on top tier guys. That way you can apply it when you really need it. So keep that in mind too, right? That's very important to keep that always in the back of your head that a lot of methods and variables come into play. So make sure you're doing it when you need it. And when it makes sense, don't just do it to do it. Like you're not going to want to use this method on like a three-star player because there's just no reason to, there's no reason to allocate that kind of time and effort to one of those guys. So the key to this method is this only works on players once you get into the top five because you are going to have to put a visit on them. So once you do, once you get your first players in the top five, make sure you come in and you start changing up your approach here. 
So the way it's going to work is you're going to want to schedule a visit for as soon as possible. That is the best way for this to work. So right here in week three, schedule a visit. Remember, if you don't have a green one, a green check unlocked yet, which hopefully you do if you're in the top five, you can go back over to overview and go to brand exposure. And you will see right there the deal breaker brand exposure. I will remove my face cam for this right there on the bottom right. Brand exposure. That means that that is available as one of their their motivations, right? So you don't have to really know. You could just go in there and do brand exposure. For the sake of this video, I'll pick the blank one so you guys can see that right there. So schedule the visit right away. That's what you're going to want to do in this situation. And then same thing for this player. Go ahead and schedule their visit. Their deal breakers playing time just so we see that now. And you can lock them up for the same week. And you're going to want to be doing that for the same week. I mean, even if they're a negative interest or they're not complimentary, you may still want to be doing it because doing this as early as possible is the key to actually locking these players up. So right there, you see we got our visits on and we're good to go on these five stars or five and four star. And then remember, you do want to be going through all these guys and just checking all your approaches, seeing where your odds are of getting these guys, seeing where you stand and still doing your due diligence as a recruiter as you go on through. From this point, you can go in advance once you've set up your visits on your top five guys and you've reallocated the rest of your guys. So from here, we have a lot more guys in the top five. So now you want to go back and continue to do that for those guys. And this is why I said it was so important to have early home games, because in order to do this, you're going to need to schedule multiple visits in order to do this. So here's where the method starts to come into play. Let's start with the guys we did last week. Now, this is why it's so important to be going through and checking all these as you see as we get more top five guys you're going to want to keep scheduling visits now if you look the guys we scheduled visits for are week three so we're currently in week three so that has not applied yet but for these other guys make sure you go through and you begin to schedule your visits because you do not want to be wasting time so as you see we're in week three so we can't do those so i'm going to do week four and this is why again it was important to add more home games if possible or pick a team that has good that's why i picked michigan they have early home games because if you don't have early home games you see like week three a lot of guys weren't in the top five yet so we couldn't do it so again we're going to add some more guys here keep on going through scheduling visits where we can and making sure that we're adding them and we're getting them on so again like a guy here brand exposures is deal breaker simple enough go over to brand exposure and add him and you want to keep doing this to remember you can only do i believe it's up to four visits per in, in a singular week so make sure that you know that like only four can go in a singular week so make sure that you do the guys you want most importantly as your first four i've seen plenty of people not do that and ends up being problematic so keep going through and remember you can always filter by top five here to make it simpler for you to just go through you as you can see a lot of these guys could easily take a hard sell here so make sure you do go through and apply the hard sell because even even while doing the method you still have to be doing your due diligence as a recruiter because if you don't you could still be hopped by other teams because even though you're doing the method you still have to be recruiting properly that's why people who don't put the hard sell on but do everything else still will end up losing because you're not actually going through and doing your recruiting actions and i've done a lot of sims with this and i've realized throughout it even though i tried doing the method you need to be adding the appropriate recruiting actions with it or else you're going to fall behind because you need to be doing everything the right way and something that i've noticed is like even when you go to do this you're going to start taking things off when reallocating make sure you absolutely go back in and do it because i've also done that as well i've taken things off to check and then i accidentally don't reapply them and you end up losing a recruit through that so I'm going to keep doing this off camera right now and you guys will come back as we advance and just keep in mind always prioritize the visits you want to be doing remember they do cost 40 hours so keep that in mind that every week if you're if you're allocating a lot of resources around you may not be able to do as many as you'd like so make sure you are keeping a certain amount of hours just for the visits make sure you're being careful while doing this take off go back through your board and take off some guys you have no chance of winning or that you don't really care for that way you can make sure you have your 40 points for your visits as you do go through and do this but just keep that in mind because you will quickly run out of points applying all these visits and just make sure you're doing this the right way all right so here's where it gets glitchy this is where this is where the method comes in so as you look here look at all of our visits right so here's one of our week three guys ben shaw and let's scroll up to our other week three guys week three right here we got we got our bonus right we're ahead of alabama because of that visit bonus keep going up anyone that we had in week three right so we had a total of at least from here it looks like we had two guys in the week three game so we had this guy and then we had this guy so take a look well right up here sorry so then we had alumba and grenshaw so what we're gonna want to do here is remove center alumba from the board hold y on him then remove ben shaw right guard right remove him from the board now go back to your prospect list and you're gonna want to find them again which is something by the way keep in mind who it is because if you lose them it's kind of hard it could be annoying to find them back if you lose track of who they are, I've done this for where I've removed them. Add Alumba back to your board and add Ben Shaw back to your board. And look at this. When you go on back and you go to the bottom of your board, you you've now allocated all of your stuff has been finalized. All of your allocations, all of your interest has been finalized. It's now a hard blue bar. And you can now go back in and re-give them a scholarship one by one here. Now, what's important is this is why make sure you have points. This is going to cost you five for the scholarship and then 40 for the visit. So make sure you are doing this properly. But as you see here, you can now go back in, add the hard sell, just like we did before, 
and you can schedule another visit now week five is locked in this instance but you can schedule one for the buy it really all just depends week five is most likely locked because we put other people on them so be careful when doing that but by week there you could throw another visit on this guy and you could throw it right onto one of their motivations pro potential right there and then alumba we could schedule another visit with him as well week five is actually open for him which is odd uh visits can be so weird with this sometimes but right there schedule throw him on there add him to whatever one that you have a good grade on and then go ahead and add the hard sell back on and remember throw the hard sell back on this was my point from before sometimes even in sims when i've done this i've done the double visit glitch but then i don't throw the hard sell on and i still lose it because although the visit's very helpful you still need the hard sell that's still like the driving force the visits the complementary force so we have both of our visits scheduled we have both our hard sells on and as you see we are in the lead for both these guys we can go forward i don't have to really keep focusing on these guys because the purpose was just to show you how it works but as you guys see our week four guys are coming up and those guys have their visits to go and you can just keep doing this so that was a way to successfully schedule a second visit and as we advance this week you're going to see how we continue to stay in the race and keep going so that's one of the fears that people thought is when like removing a guy from their board maybe you would lose some of the potential and stuff there but you actually solidified and you keep your interest like it's not like you lose it or reset you keep it and i don't think you get extra points for the new scholarship if that's going to be the follow-up question you may have but you do get the points so let's go to top five now let's scroll down to bensaw as you can see here we have another visit scheduled obviously penn state's gaining on us but we have a huge lead over over alabama now and we still have another visit to come and alabama's visits week 14. so penn state has their week five visit we have a week seven here and uh, alumba has his week five against alabama and we already have a lead so at this point it's probably over when we get to week five or even earlier and this is why it's so important in the regular season it's different so with the other video i did in the transfer portal right off rip you could schedule four straight advances and do all this all the visits the thing with the regular season that's different is you need to be in their top five first which may not happen until a, a bare minimum like week two at the latest like week four or five so you may not have home games at that point so honestly the sweet spot for this and my advice when doing it try to schedule your home games if possible between like week two and week seven you want some level of home games in that area remember you can also go back to the prospect list now and look at guys who have like no offers or barely an interest and then go apply this there later in the season with some other home games but for your main guys you want to be doing it like this so you can continue to get your visits in and continue to be doing it this way now remember with the regular season two it's a little bit different in the sense that in the transfer portal your attempt you, you lock them out remember that with a visit you lock them out in the regular season it's even it's a little different with locking out because they can do it any week but basically if you can do this successfully like we did with the week two week three some people in online league specifically or even like here bama scheduled it for week 14 they may schedule it for like a week seven through ten game that's easier for them or they know they can win but if you're able to early on just lock two, three, four right up, you lock anyone else out from fighting with you early on. So you're pretty much going to be the first one to get any visits on anybody because of how easily you can just lock players out. So we're going to advance one last time here so you can see it in action. Sorry for the not saving thing that keeps popping up. I have a million dynasties that I've created for videos. So we advance right here. You see this right here. We get Tuttle, the first five star right there. We get Alumba, another five star right there. So that's two five stars that we just committed. And I'm pretty sure one of them was just through hard selling. This is the next thing that you want to keep in mind for the regular season is that sometimes you will commit people earlier than like week four, week three, week five. So in some instances, you may just win them outright. Like you just win the guy for just, for just applying approaches there. So you may never have a chance to do this, but that's the beauty of this. If you win them outright, all the better. You don't need to fight for them and do the visit glitch. If you're fighting for them, you can do the visit glitch. And not only does it give you extra interest, you also now lock others out. So as we go down here, you see we have no one left from the uh, from the people that we have tried. We have both our guys, and we're good to go on that aspect. So you saw we lost Ben Shaw there, and again that's a Penn State had a last minute a last minute come up, uh, and the problem with the only issue, like I said, with the with the method is that they had a visit scheduled for week five, and we didn't have hours to that week seven, so we would have had to have waited. That's the problem with scheduling visits late. So this was kind of a great example to see how this works. When you can get the back-to-back -back early visits, like a week three, week four, week three, week five, you can see quickly how we can lock this guy up against Alabama and completely clamp him out. But if you schedule a visit later or you can't get the back-to-back -back visit, it's not going to be as effective, especially when a team's close. Because keep in mind, you're still doing regular recruiting actions up until the point where you can do this. So just like anything, you could lose a recruiting battle without any visits in general. The visits are kind of complimentary, and that's why this method can be so strong, because on top of doing your hard sells and allocating your extra points and pipelines and everything else, you can then apply the visits here. 
So keep that in mind. This was a great example of how it works on a Lumba. All you got to do is just remove them off the board. I cannot stress enough. Make sure you have enough points for the visit. You need 40. So whether that means taking off a three or four star guy that you were like kind of throwing some points at or anything else, remember you are going to need points for that. So keep that in mind when doing visits. And also when doing visits, keep in mind, you're going to be spending those 40. So let's say that you're allocating 160 plus of points. Those are a few recruits you can't do. So you want to balance this out. Make sure you're using it when you when you definitely want the guy or you're in a tight race that you want to win. Because if you do it in a situation where you don't necessarily need to, you may end up wasting 40 points and actually hurting your overall class. So definitely be doing your math like always. Doing it the right way can be the difference between getting a bunch of five stars and pretty much settling for four stars. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you're new to the channel, give this video a big thumbs up. Of course, subscribe as always. We're on the road to 30K subscribe like all of that helps so much so great i greatly appreciate each and every one of you that do it can we hit today's like goal that go a long way in helping us out and comment down below if you have any advice or any other methodology or variations of this that can help the community down below if you haven't already check out my twitter link and check out underdog i'm out see you guys later peace